Hello again, friends. It's Emmy from the Brown County Public Library here to share with you a super fun story time fave. Uh, it's a, I usually have my flannel board, obviously, but at home I don't have that. So I found my handy dandy cookie sheet and my son and I whipped up some uh, trees from cardboard that we found in a cereal box of all places. Uh, so I thought we would share this five little trees game. As you can see, we have five little trees. They are all different colors. We have green, say it with me, purple, orange, red, and blue. So behind one of these trees is hiding a sun. It's a little bit of a gray day over here where I am. I don't know what it's like for you, but I thought we could use as much sun as we can get right now. So I would love for you to help me find the sun. Are you ready? Here we go, say it with me. Little sun, little sun, where could you be? Are you behind the green tree? Let's see. <gasps> Not there. All right, let's try another. Should we try purple next? I think so. Okay. Little sun, little sun, where can you be? Are you behind the purple tree? Hmm? <gasps> no, not there either. Huh. All right, let's see. What should we do next? You think the orange one? Yeah, I think so too. Little sun, little sun, where could you be? Are you behind the orange tree? Hmm. Nope, no sun's there. All right, we have two choices left. Red and blue. Which one do you think we should do? Should we do red or blue? Red or blue? Red? Okay, let's do red. Little sun, little sun, where could you be? Are you behind the red tree? Hmm? Are you? No, not there. Well, that leaves us with one more tree. Let's try it. Are you ready? Little sun, little sun, where could you be? Are you behind the blue tree? Hmm? Let's see. Look, we found it. Ah, wonderful. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much for helping me with that fun game. Uh, for those of you at home who would like to try to make your own, we would love to see what you come up with. You could take a picture and send it to us uh, right under this link that would, or this video. That would be wonderful. Um, this is a super fun thing that kids can do with their family members, their cats, their dogs, their stuffed animals, whatever, you name it. You can use any shape. You don't have to do trees. Uh, sometimes in story time, we do a little bug hiding behind different kinds of rugs. We do, what's another one? Little cat, little cat. Are you behind a different color hat? So you can use anything, but I like to use rhyming words. I think it's really good to practice that rhyming, uh, practice those colors, practice that counting. And those are all just, you know, super fun things to do while you have not a whole lot of other stuff going on. So thanks for watching and please, I would love to see what you create. Thank you, bye-bye.